All right. Welcome back. We're here for week three. Uh, was everyone here Friday? If not, make sure you turn in last week's warm-up sheet and just put absent on the days you were absent so you don't lose any points. Just turn in the turn and bin. Uh, we did take a quiz on Friday, so if you weren't here, I'll get you that after the notes. But we are going to do a warm-up for this week. So you see how the workflow is every week. Monday you get it. We do it. Easy 100. Should be. Uh, but let's talk about this warm-up. By the way, did you notice uh, we have a test, not this week, but next week, over all this solving stuff, okay? So it'll be on the 4th of September. Cool. So uh, also do graphing inequalities. You've had it for a little bit. It's due. It's going to go in the gradebook soon. That's about it on the announcement. So let's do this. Solving number one here, uh, it's an inequality because you see that less than sign, right? Um, but there are two x's, one on each side. So when we're solving and x is on both sides, do you all remember we get rid of the smaller x, which happens to be 2x. So to get rid of a positive 2x, minus 2x on both sides, 2x's cancel, bring down 4 less than. 7 minus 2 is 5x plus 24. Now, I know we just subtracted on both sides, but subtraction does not change anything about the inequality, right? Next thing, x is on the right, so I need to get rid of the loner on the right side, which happens to be positive 24. What's the opposite? Subtracting 24 on both sides. So 4 minus 24 is negative 20. And that's still less than 5x. Just because you subtract doesn't change it. Okay. Last step. To get rid of the 5 in front of x, what should we do? The 5 and x are being multiplied. So the opposite is to divide by 5. Okay. So my answer, negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. X is on the right side. Do I flip the inequality? Okay. No. I did divide, but I divided by a positive 5. Dividing by a positive does not change your inequality. So negative 4 less than 5. But, and then by the way, this is okay. This is a okay final answer. But usually, we see x on the left side. Does everyone see x is on the right? So I would suggest always, if at the very end, x is by itself on the right, you could switch the order, bring x to the left, negative 4 to the right. But you have to flip the inequality when you flip the whole thing. So again, if you flip the whole inequality, you got to flip the inequality sign. So there it is highlighted to point it out. You flip everything, you flip the inequality, okay? Now, we did solve the inequality last week, but today we're just taking that and then we're graphing it on a number line. So I'll show you how to do that again in a second. All right, let's take a look at this. So you have your learning and success criteria at the top, what we're gonna do. So let's talk about it. It's when we're graphing inequalities on a number line, you're gonna use an open circle. An open circle to graph less than or greater than signs. Cool. So it's going to look like that picture. Open circle means it's not shaded in. But then you're going to use a closed circle. 
or some would call it a shaded circle, if it is not just less than or greater than, but also equal to. So the ones that look like this, less than or equal, greater than or equal. Basically, if it's underlined, it's inclusive, so it's closed circle. All right. Let's try an example here. Number one, it says X is what? What does that symbol mean right there? How do you say that? Is that less or greater? Less than, because it looks like an L is pointing to the left. Okay. So X is less than negative three. Let's find negative three on the number line, which is right around here. And you're going to put a circle on that tick mark right there. Right at negative three. Cool. And then what you're going to do is shade yourself an arrow. And if it's less than, do you see how the less than sign points left? Well, you're going to shade an arrow to the left. That's pretty much it. So because it was not underlined, it was an open circle, less than, shaded left. Number two, similarly, uh, x is, but this one is called greater than negative one. So we find negative one on the number line, put an open circle there, uh, and then we're going to go greater than. The greater than sign you can see is pointing to the right, so we're going to shade to the right. And that's it, because it is not underlined. It is a greater than, but not equal, so it's an open circle. Cool. What about three? It's It has to do with seven, so let's find seven over here. Should that one be shaded in or no? It should be, because it's a less than or equal to. Y'all saw this little underline right here, right? Equal to. That means we're going to shade in that circle. So let's shade in that circle. Cool. And then it says less than. So we're going to go to the left. Cool. And that's it. So again, less than or equal goes left and it's shaded in at seven. Last one, negative five is right here. Circle it. Uh, it is underlined, so it's inclusive. So we're going to shade in the circle. And then greater than points right. So we're going to shade to the right. That's pretty much it. That's from the inequality to the graph. The next section, though, is going to be from the graph back to the inequality. So can we work this backwards? So look at, be careful when you're looking at this. You might have to look closely because the circle, is it shaded in or not? If you're looking at the board, it might look shaded in, but if you look closely, there might be some you know white space in there that means it's not. But uh, number five, go and write the letter X. The number that it's focused on is negative two. Leave some space. All I got to do is add the right inequality. So look, it's going to the left, so that has to be a less than sign. And do you think it's underlined? Keep a little white X in there. It's open. So it's not underlined, so that's it. X less than negative two, no big deal. Uh, number six, again, you can put X, you can put the number four, but the question is, what's the inequality? So since it goes to the right, we're gonna have a greater than sign, which points to the right, and do we underline it? Is it shaded in? It is shaded in. Underline that inequality. 
That's it. Number seven. We got x. We got zero. It goes to the left, so that's less than. It's shaded in, so it's underlined. Number eight. It's x. And this number is negative 3, so we got negative 3. It's open, and it goes to the right, so we go right with no underline. Okay. X is just greater than negative 3 with no underline because it's an open circle. Okay. Now, do you all feel like you got kind of got the hang of the graphs? Pretty straightforward. We're going to combine that with what we did last time, which is solving. So can you solve and graph? That's what we're doing. Look at number nine after this next part. Um, this is a reminder of the rules that we talked about on Thursday. You must lift the inequality symbol when you multiply or divide by a negative number. So you must flip that inequality symbol when you multiply or divide by a negative number. Same rules as last Thursday, Friday. All right, all ready? Let's try to solve one and graph it. Here we go. Number nine. So we're solving it first. Uh, X is on the left side, so I need to get rid of the loner plus two. So I subtract two on both sides. Subtraction does not change the inequality. Negative four, minus two, negative six. And then I need to get rid of the 3 in front of x, so I'm going to divide. Does everyone know that you divide to get rid of a coefficient? Well, those 3s cancel. And now I have x, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Do you think the inequality will flip? We divided by a positive, so it actually stays the same. So x is less than negative 2 is our final answer. And now all we got to do is graph it. Okay? Now, there's no numbers on this number line, right? So you put the numbers on there. So I'm going to put negative 2 right there in the middle. Why not? Okay? Now, if that's the only number you put on there, that's fine. Whatever. But if you wanted to fill it out, it'd be like negative 1, 0, 1. Three, negative four, negative five. And then we circle at negative two. Since it's not underlined, it's not equal, we don't shade it in. And then less than goes to the right. Cool. If you got that, flip it over. We'll do three more examples and then I'll let y'all work. All right. On the back side, number 10. X is on the left. The loner is minus 5. Let's add 5. Add 5. Bring down negative X over 8. It stays less than. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Okay. Last step. X is on the left, and I need to get rid of a divided by negative 8. What's the opposite of dividing? Multiplying by negative 8. Multiplying by negative 8. Okay. All right. And then the negatives cancel, the 8s cancel. X is less than, or is it? 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. 
Now, do I flip the inequality or no? What do you think? Okay. I did multiply by a negative. So since I multiply by a negative, I must flip the inequality. And it gives me greater than negative 24. This is very important because, I highlighted it, so important. Very important because you would graph it totally different otherwise, right? So let's go ahead and put negative 24 in the middle, put a circle, don't shade it in, and then now that it's greater, we're going to the right, okay? That's it. If you don't put any more numbers, I that's fine. All right, and number 11, x is on both sides. Let's get rid of the smaller x, which is minus 2x. It happens to say it is plus 2x, plus 2x. 8x plus 1 is less than 9. Doesn't change the inequality. Minus 1 to get rid of the loner. Divide to get rid of the coefficient. Since we divided by a positive, it's going to stay... Less than 8 divided by 8 is 1. So again, open circle, shaded to the left for our less than sign at 1. Okay. 12. Now, I want everyone with me on 12 because this one can be kind of tricky. I want you to see this part. Cool. On number 12, x is on both sides. So the smaller x that we're going to get rid of is 2x. So the opposite of a positive 2x is minus 2x, minus 2x. Careful. What do I bring down here? What is this number? Not just a one, but a negative one, right? Always bring down the sign with the number. Less than, 5 minus 2 is 3x plus 20. All right, the loner is plus 20, so minus 20 minus 20. Negative 1 minus 20 is negative 21. Less than 3x. Nothing flipped yet. To get rid of that 3 in front of x, we divide, we divide. Negative 21 over 7 is negative 7. Now look, nothing flipped because we divided by a positive. Right? Everything's good. Uh, I could put a negative 7 here. I could put an open circle. But wait, what's weird about this? Normally, x is on the left side. If you look at everything we've done so far, usually x is on the left. So if x is on the right, do we do it the same way? What's the deal? Okay. What is the deal? Um, if you shaded it to the left because you see a less than sign, you would be wrong. <laughs> because it's backwards, because the whole, e the whole inequality is backwards. So just like the warm-up, okay, we need x to be on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and make a little note off to the left here. Put a little star, you know. X must be on the left. Can I spell? So when I flip it, x is now on the left, negative 7 is on the right, but you must flip the inequality if you flip the whole thing. So now we have a greater than sign. Highlighted, just for you to see. If x ends up on the right, flip it at the end, flip the inequality. So instead of shading to the left, now we can clearly see that this is a shaded to the right because it's greater than, x is greater than negative 7. Cool. 
All right, there is an assignment for this, so I'm going to pass it out. If you still have missing work, stuff you need to turn in or work on first, that's fine, but this is the next thing you want to work on, okay? All right, we're going to get started. Here we go.